Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Rift Runner's second renewal. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this anime and video game inspired counter-apocalyptic tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to start talking about classes. There are many roles that a Rift Runner can take in this world. The structuring of their abilities is a class. As the runners accrue more experience, the ability to learn skills from more than one class is made available. We start with the artist class. Often thought of as songstresses and the musically inclined, these people may also be storytellers, painters, or any other creative-minded persons. You have abilities such as uplifting tune. Your learned tongue can now tell tales and sing songs at a frequency that promotes regrowth. All units that gain your buffs also regain 1 HP or hit points at the start of each round for the duration of the buff. You also have Removal. With a sharp tongue, remove all status effects up to your charisma in terms of units in battle. You also have Annoying Banter. Cause a ruckus, making mages miscast their magic. Negate the cast spell of one magic user of choice and deal charisma damage to the caster. Then we have the Berserker. Waking up one day, you decided to become stronger, and violence became your primary language. Thriving on the battlefield, they are able to deal a lot of damage, and sustain a lot of damage as well. You have abilities such as Undying Rage. When you would normally die, instead, gain one hit point. This skill activates automatically on the death blow if you have enough SP to spare. You also have Revenge. If you have taken any damage this round, roll an extra strength on all attacks. You also have Wrath. Pour all of your strength into this blow. You add your missing hit points to the attack roll. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to continue with the character classes. When it comes to the artist, this class specializes in buffing and helping the other members of the party. There are also some abilities for diplomatic matters and you can also disrupt the enemy a little. When it comes to the Berserker, this is a very risky class, very powerful class I would say, but it's all about taking as much damage as possible because your abilities are powered by the injuries that you have suffered, so make sure that you don't die in the process. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe, and thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive through RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, master roleplay and you will master the game. Once again, thank you and see you later.